What's up, dudes and dudes in the year now? My name's Seth, and we are back here to the hmm. Hello, it's a mustache. That's what this controller looks like, ma. How are y'all doing today, everybody? Welcome to the sandwich Xbox episode of the truth. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic, wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. Whoa, we're going into a time warp. Look at all of the fire on the ground. Hey, this guy is copying me. Get out of here, you fool. Stop copying me, you freak. Okay, let's go do some adventuring today. I know, I know that everybody really desperately wants me to do the world tour. Oh, I'm still here. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Screw adventuring. It's not like we ever get any good loot anyways. And while we're in the loading screen, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that I can get my silver play button. And I mean, you can unsub after, but would you wanna? So I'm hoping that I can end up uh, kind of grabbing everything at once because while we ended up doing the PS4 Club World Tour quite recently, uh, the Xbox One actually has a lot more builders than the PS4 community, right? So, oh my goodness gracious, the pixel art is insane in this club, like seriously. So. Uh, because of that, I might not give direct shoutouts to individual people for individual builds uh, unless there is a sign that is very, very obvious for me to end up grabbing because otherwise, for the most part, we're just going to go right to it and I'm just going to try and explore the club and hopefully be able to catch everything on camera because, man, all live, this, this is such a huge built area. So this is kind of what I like to consider an alternative hub just because it's kind of like a town area and they've got the trees, they've got Charmander, which is my favorite of the fire type starting Pokemon, a potion that's been drank a little bit for some weird reason. That's a health potion or a magic potion from Mincrift, I think. Uh, then there's whatever that thing is, Flants vs. Zombies and Jacksepticeye's Eye. I mean, he doesn't play Trove and he never will. And I mean, why would you want him to play Trove? You've already got me, right? Then over here we've got, what the, what kind of props are these? I've never seen these, even on the PC version. Then again, it's not like I really mess with any of the face stuff. Then we got our fishing ponds over here, Master Chef, uh, Pokachu, and Mewtwo is up there as well. And then this area, oh, hey, 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 who is that? Twisty, Rep Girl, and Lord Ogzin. Oh my goodness gracious. So I guess they've taken this uh, unofficially, or officially, I guess, <laughs> as a uh, trophy hut for all of the fishies that everybody's been getting. And then we've got Go uh, Gohan. Gohan? Any of these jokes hitting for anybody? Oh my goodness, there's a roof I can't get out. And on the left side of the building, we got this giant spectacular sword. Uh, Maggot Man and a Zelda logo icon thing, which is beautiful. Who made Mega Man? Mega Man by Proving Twins. Oh, yeah, he's actually done quite a bit of the pixel art. Then there's a little uh, Scythe Reaper thing by Proving Twins again. And what about the Zelda thing? Was that you again? Ah, Captain Redbeard, six spore something. Then we've got uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters and all that stuff, right? Uh, a Poop Muffin? A Cupcake? Internetical. <laughs> that's it, it's just who made it and that's it. I like him, I, he's straight and to the point. Uh, then we've got this house right here, which is actually really, really cool, kind of a Norse style house. Uh, is it Nordic? I, I don't know, maybe it's something else, but I, I really like this build actually. There's uh, some crazy stuff inside it. We're not gonna have enough time to check out interiors today, unfortunately. This is a hat house, uh, yeah. And then we've got a modern house right over here, which really reminds me of my good pal Val warrior. Uh, he always built modern houses on the PC version of Trove as well. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, who is your creator? Oh, it was, uh, me. <laughs> ah, you saw it here first, I created it. And here we've got the House of a Million Tears. This is a house of sadness made by Warpriest22, where you just bounce around and it shakes the tears out of your face, like literally. Uh, then we've got, oh my goodness, somebody's actually making an Eiffel Tower, a gigantic, beautiful blue crystal, a Jub Jub Club, and we did kind of uh, see that pixel art in another video, but you can see it right there. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful but scary at the same time. Uh, then we've got this Sea of Regret. What is this? Um, 
by a whole bunch of people, I guess. Okay, maybe this entire lake is custom and wasn't actually generated in or something. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like we got another build on the way right here. Ooh, I like the style of this one. That's pretty cool. Uh, Lakeview Manor by Tobin10. Ooh, nice. Or Tobin, Tobin, whatever his name is. Then we've got beautiful Eiffel Tower. By the way, if uh, the person making this, who is build in progress, uh, Scythal Tower by Kelly Mayo. Okay, thank you very much. I guess because he took purple, because it's my favorite color. Uh, but if you're on the PC version, dude, go to Google Translate. There's actually a gigantic, like, actual. I, I guess kind of to scale as far as uh, the pixel art is concerned and the characters in the game, but it's an actual like full-on Eiffel Tower. It's beautiful. Oh man, these people are starting to find me. This is getting bad. This is getting bad news bears. Okay, so quite a few people ended up helping with this build by the looks of things. I wish I could turn usernames off. Let me actually go to Do Not Disturb. Either way, a very beautiful build and actually the reason why it looks so good is not only does he have these glass pillars kind of corkscrewing up to the top, uh, but there's actually water coming down each of them. That's kind of what gives it that uh, definition of flow. <laughs> Here we've got the yellow and gray primal club because uh, this person clearly didn't have access to any of the custom block colors. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure this is actually a really early build. Whoops, forgot my rule because if I end up going into the interiors, we're going to unfortunately be here all day. And I, I do got actually get this video ready. I'm recording it just last night. What the? Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, we saw it for a minute. Uh, apparently, that is the house of, uh, like, a vortex house. Looks like he's actually got a couple Game Breaker cannons built on the front of it as well. So, unfortunately, we can't really check that out. This, oh, this ended up getting destroyed by the biomes around. This was a pretty cool build. It was actually the... Uh, Shadow Hunter in kind of his golden armor, uh, as well as the angelic hood, which he was wearing, which I still think is one of the best costume combinations in the game. Then we've also got some weird secret cave right here, which is scary, but beautiful at the same time. I kind of want to go inside and uh, touch all of the golden there, but it's not going to work because it would end up being cursed. You're not going to trick me, you stupid cave. Looks like somebody's starting to construct a building on the top of this mountain, which I very much approve of. Uh, I really really like, oh, he's got it all to scale and proper too. Uh, I like builds like this and people that kind of add stuff to the environment. That's that's kind of what I'm all about, if you can't already tell, is I, I like organic builds. Not to say that all the other crazy ones don't have their uh, place or anything like that. It's just my own personal style, you know? What is this? The gaming zombie, did this get griefed? Or is this a rocket ship? I think it might actually, uh, like, I think it's supposed to look like this. Yeah, because that's all symmetrical. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then he's also got a crazy, glitchy, matrixy road going on up here, which I approve of that as well. Ooh, it actually carries out out here. Is there anything else, or is that just it? I moved it again. Sorry, zombie. It's cool. <laughs> I like how they're using the signs to communicate with one another. Do we even have anything out in these biomes? I don't really think so. Uh, hopefully, just just a heads up to the officers on Xbox. If you guys didn't already check out the uh, PS4 World Tour, I do want to mention this here. Uh, one of the big things that ends up happening with Trove as far as builds are concerned is people are always requesting biomes, biomes, biomes. I want more biomes. I want more biomes. Personally speaking, I would recommend waiting and until like these biomes are actually filled up with builds before you start adding new biomes or uh, You know, maybe when people get really close to the edge of a biome uh, I could see how that could be a problem because you want to try and add the new biome so that it's not going to end up Destroying someone's build, but if it's at the edge of the biome, there's not really that much we can do about it But the whole point that I'm getting at is otherwise you end up getting those club worlds uh, in Trove that have like a million zillion biomes and most of them look like this. This is my house. Because nobody has claimed it, I'll pretend that I made it. And by pretend, I mean I totally made it. No, I, I didn't really. I don't know who made this house, but it's adorable. I love it, and I want to eat it like Legos. Don't actually do that, though. 
They don't taste as good as they look. Ice builds is something you don't really see very often, but it looks like this biome has kind of been destroyed, or maybe it generated like this, but I kind of like it. Looks like there's an interesting cave down there. Oh, I am Legacy 69, got an Infinium Dragon Egg. Congratulations, dude. Cut that on camera, too awesome. Uh, then we got some guys ice building. Try that sweet transition. Just that guy got a giant dig, and then just yep. Ooh, this is cool. I never saw this. There's a lot of these builds I actually haven't seen. So this was by uh, Internetical and Zombie Ninja 92. Oh, dude, this is so sick. Dude, there's a lot of props on here, so it's gonna drain frame rate like crazy because that's what props do in this game, uh, especially on the Xbox version. But wow. <gasps> Do we have music houses over here? Fountain made by Lord Osgin. What, what do we got here? Is this actually gonna be a music house? Under construction music area coming soon. Dude, this is sick. I very, very much approve of this one. I cannot wait to see what it turns out to be. So we got like a giant saxophone. Uh, this looks like a song that's starting to be constructed, right? Epic Jazz Man Loop. <laughs> And I think it's safe to say that there's not going to be that much- Oh, goody grum drop. This, this looks like a music of Sonic, right? Yeah, this is totally going to be Sonic. Man, what a project. Like, ew. Uh, again, if Sonic Green Hill Zone. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, again, if the person that's actually constructing this, because unfortunately I didn't see a sign, uh, if you go to Google Translate on the PC version of Trove, they actually have tons and tons of music tracks, including uh, some great in theme, like they have Sonic and it's got like the whole first level, uh, not to mention like they have like Mario songs and stuff like that. I, I don't mean to like over like, uh, you know, sell that club or anything. I'm just saying that you can use it for a lot of inspiration. Uh, good friend of mine, Lord Sithis, actually knew one of the original members as a good friend of his that I ended up talking with as well. We didn't really keep in touch, but still really, really cool dude. Something Wolf was his name. I think it was Wolf 05 or something. Okay, Jester is making Dr. Robotnik or some type of a UFO. It's pretty. Authorized personnel only. I see. So they're kind of trying to put up a bunch of signs so that if people end up coming over here, they're going to immediately know, dude, you can't build here. Ooh, this is the old music station. And is that griefed or is that just not that's just what it looks like okay so remember a while ago in the series we ended up coming over here and kind of messing around with the skyrim song uh there was also the hand sands song from hands the sand song from undertale well those songs and more are all now cramped inside this building which I'm sorry to say to the builder of this, I really don't like how claustrophobic it is. Most of all, just because like on the PC version of Trove, you can adjust your field of view. You still can on this slash FOV space, whatever number you want, right? 85 is what I usually rock the game at uh, on PC anyways. Uh, but this game in general doesn't really handle itself very well with a controller, I would say. So it's like, uh, I'll just kind of show you an example right here. It's like, oh, okay, this is like really, really cool. But then, uh, you know, I'm already lost. I, I already don't know where I am. I'm over exaggerating it, but I'm just saying that, uh, yeah, they, they went in this direction. So I like what they're doing with the music island. Keep that one up, guys, because I, I think it's all about like having it as open as possible. You know, we got Jake the dog and a bunch of our beautiful things here as well but then we've got espion i don't know it's like the dark version of the pocket man's i i was one of those freaks i'm like the grandpa of pokemon where i grew up with the original 150 then they jumped to adding all the dark and light types and i and i lost track ever since but we've got beautiful joker right here why so serious he, he actually it's uh by twisty Giant companion cube built by Twisty as well, and he's got a bunch of portals in there, it looks like. That could also be why the frame rate's being drained. Genie! Yes! Liberty! I don't know what he actually says, okay? It's a magic carpet ride. Then we got another one of these crazy corkscrew laser build things. Oh my goodness, there's a giant floating island up there. I'm gonna check that out in a bit. <gasps> Is this my cornerstone from the PC version? It's not like to scale. Oh, actually, oh dude, it actually is, you freak. Who made this? 
What abomination, Jezter. You monster, look at this. I mean, it's not using all the same block colors and stuff, but what a freak, he actually even has my basement. Oh, dude, he doesn't have all the trophies set up, but oh. Oh, that takes me back. That's awesome, dude. I like how I said I wasn't gonna go inside any builds, and then I go into one that pretty much is just my build remade, right? And then we've got a Garble's Lego version of it. No, I actually kind of like this as well. What is it? It's the angry house. Look, can you not see its angers? It also has a rocket on the top in case the house runs into trouble or catches fire. It can rocket into the air and uh, save itself. But by Jezder as well. I like that little bridge. It's quaint. Let me just tap the jump button like a freak if I don't rubber band back down because we're going to go up to that floating island. While we're here, we may as well. Oh my. Oh look, it's a T. Teen, teen Titans, right? Right? That's what T means to you freaks, isn't it? I'm joking because in the uh, PS4 tour there was a giant T that was actually supposed to be from Teen Titans, but I never really watched that show, so I didn't know what it was and I thought it was Trove. That's what this one definitely is though. This is beautiful, dude! I'm getting too distracted by going into the interiors though. I gotta run outside, you can check this build for yourself. Oh my goodness gracious, the detail is beautiful. Like seriously, I love it. And the amount of detail they did on the floating island, but ugh. Okay, that's a bit crazy, but still, it's it's definitely a very, very beautiful build. Uh, let's go to the undead biome before I run over to the other side. All right, we're coming in hot. Don't worry, we can do this. We can ace this. Somebody should make a wing course in here, by the way, with a target at the end, like pilot wings. I did it! Also, this block is out of place. I, I am known for seeing imperfections in builds. Not that I do it on purpose, I just kind of end up seeing it. Okay, so we've got this, which was actually one of the earliest builds in this entire club. And I think this is really, really cool, where it's kind of like a corrupted zone because there's a shadow tower portal in the middle of it, right? Uh, I love like little lore things like that, you know? It's just, it's so cool. Uh, then we've got a solid brick tent. Oh no, it's supposed to be like a paddle wheel. Okay, I get it and a crazy house. Like seriously, what psychopath made this? I actually love it though. It looks really, really cool and unique. Then we've got some crazy purple rocket over here. Um, uh, Link? That's Link, right? It's Zelda? I know it's men and I'm just joking, okay? But that's some pretty cool pixel art. Like seriously, what do we got here? Uh, Pixel Art Island, work in progress by Zombie and Captain Redbeard. Okay, it looks like they've got an island just gonna be dedicated to Pixel Art. Now, that is cool, that I like. Ooh, and I like that little alcove there with the water. Under construction by NBA Jam. This is actually, oh, ooh, he's been building more. Oh, cool, dude. I only ended up coming in here uh, back when the walls were built, but this is turning out to be really, really swag. This is a really unique castle, by the way. Like, seriously, this build is crazy, dude. Oh, man, that's so cool. Uh, it's too bad we didn't have the mod that would actually get rid of this Uggles brightness that happens when you're in the ice biome. Uh, then there's also, over there is just the hub. So if we come over to this island, and then there's a whole bunch out in the distance. We also have some PvP arenas that I'm hoping to take a look at today, too. Officer only build. Please go back to the mainland. Okay, I don't really see anything being, uh, built over here, though. Um... No, like seriously, I mean, I can claim an area and just say that it's mine and never touch it either, guys. Oh, here's something. Okay, looks like we actually do have something. Maybe this is turning into a boat course or something. Oh, there's actually sewers and stuff. Okay, all right, I see the build now. <laughs> I'm just teasing, by the way. Don't take anything I say too seriously when I'm uh, messing around like that. Uh, I'm pretty uh, on pretty good terms with everybody, so most people do know that I'm joking. But just in case you're just tuning in, I just want to make that clear. Then we've got some type of volcanic biome over here, as well as a medieval highlands again. I mean, this volcano just looks good in general, except for the way that it kind of generated is a little poop, but are there any builds on this island yet? Um, like really, what are these? 
I don't get it. It's two giant cubes. Are they eyes? I think they are, because look, this is his nose. It's two eyes looking at me. You, do you see it now? And we're right on his nose, like, brr, I'm going to eat you whenever I grow a mouth. What? Okay, and then we've got a green circle over here. Uh um, Great, great job. It's so cool, I could work. By the way, you know when you're under structures and blocks and the map does this? Don't worry. Everybody complained about it on the PC version and this is no longer a thing. So don't worry, console players. It will be gone once they end up updating the game to the PC version. Okay, over here we've got, what is this? Made by a ton of different people, uh, blah, blah, blah. Some type of a dance club. We can't seem to get in it. It's a little claustrophobic. Oh, I like it. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah. And look, we've got, uh, oh, oh qu qu okay, we've got some freak with a red name. Like, he was the DJ for a minute. That's why we don't hear any music right now is because he stopped doing his job uh, just so that he could dance with me. Like, seriously, don't, don't, don't grind up on me, bro. That's rude. Hey, it's Jacksepticeye. Remember those jokes from the Resident Evil 7 PewDiePie video? I'm not as big as him. I'm a baby. Got some pyramid of the Aztecs, which has, uh, here lies the slain crawl. What? Oh, crawls PVP trophies. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Wait a minute. What happened here? Oh, <gasps> this was a castle build. What happened to it? Did the castle slowly get destroyed or something? Oh, dude, and I was just thinking the other day, I gotta get this on camera just because uh, I had a feeling that something was gonna go down with it. It looks like it's just all gone. Maybe they're gonna reconstruct it or something. I don't know. And then we've got some crazy purple thing over here. I have no idea what that is. Uh, I think the PvP biomes are somewhere out here by the neon biomes from what I heard. These are actually some of the earlier biomes for sure. And uh, it kind of shows with the plain builds that are kind of around, but it's a bit of a dark biome anyways, right? This I really, really like, though. This uh, At Atari game. Yep, it's like Battleship or something. Aha! So here's the PvP biomes. Oh my goodness gracious. So uh, we were kind of talking in Discord about this, and I mentioned something about a giant coffee mug. I think they... Uh, I think they, I, I, I don't think that they understood the direction that I was talking about. This is impressive to say the least. Like seriously, this is just, this is insane. Like especially for the console version and trying to build with like unstable frame rate. Let's just take it. Oh my goodness, there's thousands of blocks here. This is nuts, dude. And to actually do it like proper to scale and the uh, like counting involved, just ay ay ay, what a project. But yeah, just to kind of give an idea uh, to the people that are actually building this PvP arena, I kind of meant something like this, but I meant more it was going to be a giant coffee mug and kind of have like chocolate going through it. Maybe it's like hot cocoa or something. And then you could have like a bunch of marshmallows that you could jump on. And then as far as a PvP arena is concerned, this is just what I was thinking anyways. I'm sure they're going to do something 10 times better. Uh, but I was thinking that underneath that chocolate could just be bedrock because once you actually actually load a PvP map in at Bedrock, uh, it's actually replaced by just the air so you can fall through the map. And I thought it would be pretty cool as a kind of random parkour map. I gotta try and find this other PvP arena because they did show me screenshots of it, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. <laughs> Apparently, Zombie said we just take the yellow portal, so that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do. Aha! So we did find it. Okay. How do we actually check the arena itself, though? Can I can I check it out? I want to see it. Information. Dot. 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 Who who made this? Lord Osgin, War Priest, and Snoo Snoo person. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? There we go. And I just typed slash test arena to force the match so that I can actually check it out because I'm not interested in fighting. Okay, everybody. I just want to take a look at it. If I can ever like get out of this spawn area, because as far as I've seen with the screenshots, oh yeah, this is so cool. So this is a proper CTF map, dude. They actually just have each side. They ended up to uh, managing to get the trap blocks, uh, and then down there, I guess if you end up falling in the lava, you can kind of save yourself in the center, which I guess that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, is there a way back up on the sides? Not really. Still very cool though. I like how they did proper color coding. That's good. So you actually know which side you're on. Maybe a little, oh, I guess you don't really need that many more indicators like just around the area because they're already in the bases. But yeah, that's neat, dude. It's so like simple, 
and yet majestic, you know? Like, I, I really like what they ended up doing here. Just one power up, just keep it nice and simple and quick and easy. Well, it's about that time, everybody. I'm gonna have to see uh, how much I can cut in today's video so that it's actually something gonna be watchable. Uh, but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to make this under half an hour. I've been recording for about like uh, 35 to 40 minutes now. But either way, very, very cool. I'm absolutely loving the builds, guys and gals. Like, seriously, they're awesome. And I, I just want to take the opportunity to say again, like always, cue the music. Thank you very much, Metal Gear Solid. I, I really appreciate the support and the amazing community they <laughs> the amazing community that we've managed to just kind of build in this game. What kind of helmet is that guy wearing? That is not, that is not the one that the Ice Sage has. I seriously have no idea which helmet Cursed Fighter is rocking. Uh, if that's like a Shadow Hunter costume, then that is, that is not on the PC version yet. Anyways, I got distracted. I just wanted to say seriously, big things from small beginnings here, folks, because already like we're, we're barely even at like 20 episodes here and we already have like such an amazing club world. I mean, I, I still remember it like it was yesterday because it was only like a month or two ago when we ended up launching this world and it was completely empty and now it's filled up. Thanks to all you fine, beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching though, folks. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign on and stay epic, everybody.